everybody in here just sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you because it is cool today. I can't believe it. It is so nice outside. A little bit overcast, but that doesn't bother me. So today I think I'm going to take the baby chicks outside to let them scavenger around a little bit. And I'm going to show you a few little changes I've made outside and then just kind of do some brainstorming for the area with the chickens and get a little bit of feedback and whatnot. So, well, let's just get going. I moved all of these plants out here, and this area gets quite a bit of sunshine. So, next year, I think I'm going to utilize this entire area, even past the solar panels, uh, for container gardening. And that seems to be what I've had the best luck with growing in containers, so I'm just going to stick with that. And look at this little tomato plant. It just keeps trying to grow. It's the I think I can, I think I can tomato plant. <laughs> I moved this tub over here because when Judy comes over with her lead on, um, it's too high. It doesn't run into any of these. And I've had to basically block this whole area off. None of these herbs are growing anyhow down here. Um, so that she won't get up underneath the house because she has totally trampled. Look at that. Look at what she's done. I mean, thank goodness I still have one blooming over here, but... And I put the time there too. Um, so let's go over this way. We get so much clay mud back here. And yep, I've had to move the fly magnet further away. The potatoes, I'm just leaving there. I put a few of the buckets over here and I put some on the uh, other side of the tiny house as well. I'm gonna have to water these today even though we ha we've had lots of rain recently. Uh, they're looking a little peaked, and I'm going to have to see if I've got any more fertilizer left. Anyhow, so what I did is basically I had to move the chicken coop away from this area because Judy's lead, she could get over here, and she was jumping up on this little pen and whatnot. Um, so I've moved it this way a little bit, and it's actually very easy to move. It's almost like a chicken tractor. I can pick it up and move it in different spots, so I kind of like that. Um, I still have to fortify it more before I can use it, you know, with any permanence. But, I've moved it out here. So, this whole area back here, from this part of the tiny house to that part of the tiny house, I want to enclose underneath the house so that, you know, the chickens can't get out. Um, for now, I'm not even going to worry about the, the raised beds, if they get into them or not. Um, I'll worry about that next year. I may even end up moving those. So I was thinking of bringing a fence from here to about here. And then, you know, pretty much all the way over to this part of the tiny house right here. Maybe even right here. Maybe even right here and just come out to about right here. So they'll have that whole area to roam in during the day safely and not get, uh, you know, hurt by predators. Of course, I'll probably be out here watching them until, uh, you know, I'm confident they're not going to fly away. And that's another thing I have to think about. Because leghorns are, well, like somebody said, very athletic. They like to fly and whatnot. So I don't know if I should clip their wings. Oh, gosh, I can't even, I don't even like the thought of that. But I'll do it if I have to. But this whole area back here can just be for the chickens. Well, I pulled these green beans up and check out what I found underneath. I don't know if you can see it, but there are a ton of ants in this planter all over the place. They basically made this their own personal ant hill. So I'm going to throw down some diatomaceous earth and see if that gets rid of them. What do you think? Too much? <laughs> I don't care. There they are, my little sweethearts. They didn't like me picking them up and bothering them. They were perfectly happy in the indoor coop, but I've got them out here and I've got them some water and I went and found some bugs and some bug larvae, larva, whatever, um, and put it down in that little bit of dirt there to see if they will eat them. And Miss Judy is upset because she can't come close to them. Well, she's just going to have to get used to it for now. So, let's just see what these chickens do. Oh, 
Looks like one is going for it. I may need to dump that out. Yeah, they're eating it. There's some little ant eggs in there too. Not a ton of ants though. I mean, I killed uh, a multitude of ants just so that they wouldn't all be swarmed at once. You know what I mean? And get bit over and over again. I don't think little chicks should be in the middle of an ant hill. So there's a bunch of dead ants in there. There's a few live ones too. And they're eggs. I went over to an ant hill and basically scooped up a bunch of dirt. And it looks like they're liking it. They're going to pick out all those eggs, I bet you, first. Oh yeah, they are good at catching bugs. There was like a little tiny fly or something flying around inside the coop last night and it was so much fun watching them chasing after it flying all over the place. I mean, it, it eventually escaped, but they really go after it. And you know what? They are really starting to try and fly now. They're so cute. All right, sun shines over here. That one with a little yellow on its back. There's another one with yellow on its back. You can see Patsy over there. So Patsy and Sunshine, and then I gotta name two others. Look at them go. They're just growing so fast. So they are basically two weeks old today. Two weeks old and maybe a few days. Oh, they are just so cute and they're growing so fast. They're getting their tail feathers. Patsy's tail feather is not as well formed just because she had all that pasted area back there and probably a few of the feathers got pulled out along with the down. But it's starting to grow in now. You know what? I wonder if Sunshine and this other bird right here that has a little bit of yellow on them. I mean, they all got a little yellow on them. If they're going to be a different color, I don't know. It's going to be exciting watching them grow. While we're waiting for the chicks to do something else fantastic, the UPS guy just pulled up and dropped off this. I got another Prezi. Exciting. I don't know what it is. I wasn't expecting anything else, so I'm going to open this up and see what it is. Yes, oh my gosh, I had this on my wish list. Let's see who it's from. Jesus loves you. God bless from Anonymous. Okay, this is what it is, you guys. This is a cooling pillowcase. And I had wanted some of these. I read the reviews and they had very, very good reviews. So, Anonymous, thank you. I'm going to open this up just to see what they feel like. Is it one or two? I don't know. I'm going to find out. Let us see. Let us see. You are our special guest. Hmm. Thanks for choosing us. Want to earn $20 gift card on your next Amazon purchase? Only two steps. Oh, this is what I have to do. Leave a five-star photo review and send a screenshot to rebate gift card at blah blah blah. You receive 20 US dollar gift card when the review is confirmed. I can't be bought. I can't be bought. I'm going to hold on to this because if I actually love these, which I'm pretty sure I am, then um, if, if I really love these, I will leave a five star review. If not, well, I'm not going to do it, not even for 20 bucks. So. Let's see what these feel like. Oh my goodness. There are two of them. There's two of them. Let me see if I can get these undone without ruining anything. Yeah, that was easy. And they feel like, I don't know, kind of like, you know that Under Armour material? Have you ever seen that or felt it on your body? That's what these feel like. And they are, they've got a zipper. You open it up on one of the short ends, stick your pillow in. Actually, what I do is I turn them inside out and then 
I grab the pillow like this and turn it this way and that just makes it easier. So I'm gonna put these on my bed tonight and see how they feel. They do feel good. They feel good. So I'll let you know how this goes and if I like it, I'll leave a good review. And um, if it's five star, I will definitely leave a five star. But I'm not gonna lie just because somebody's giving me 20 bucks, you know what I mean? So thank you, Anonymous, whoever you are. I kind of do feel like Jesus loves me. I definitely do. Whoops, sorry. All right, so I'm going to put these on the bed here in a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to watch my chickens. Oh, my gosh. Look what they did to that little tray with all that dirt in it. And the insects and the eggs. It is totally gone. Totally gone. Right on, baby chicks. They're getting so big. Oh, my gosh. So I am definitely going to enclose, even though it's got chicken wire on it, I may just take that chicken wire off and uh, I may even use it around the tiny house and enclose this all in hardware cloth, including this little part over here. And there's a, there's a couple doors I have to do this to. See that under part there? Um, let's see. That part right there, they can slip through that. Um, they can slip through this door here. And plus, I don't want predators getting in, so I'll, I'll do the doors separately and just everything, hardware, cloth, everywhere. I don't know that I'll do it where the tarp is. I don't know. I'm going to have to decide, but we will see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. You're not going to escape. No. Little chickens. Look. They're doing the dust bath thing. They're getting in the dirt. Oh. That is so cute. I think they like it. Oh yeah. The dirt over here isn't, it's a little bit better. Oh, I could watch this for hours and hours. That's a good chicken, give yourself a bath. It looks like it's gonna rain here pretty soon, so I gotta wrangle the girls up and get them back inside because I can't leave them out here overnight. And then go into town, upload the videos, and then do some more cool stuff tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna be on the schedule tomorrow. Whatever I feel motivated for, hopefully it's gonna be super cool. And I don't know, maybe I'll get a little bit of insulation done. The I word. Anyhow, that's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.